today we are going to learn second english poem that is indian weavers written by famous indian poetess political activist and feminist sarojini naidu sarojini naidu born in 1879 and died in 1949 this poem published in 1971 Sarojini Naidu was called Nightingale of India because of her contribution in Indian literature in poetry Sarojini Naidu was the first president of women president of Indian National Congress she was the first governor of independent India she has written various poems on on the themes of love wisdom and freedom and life also this particular poem is about life actually she has divided whole day in three parts first part stands for childhood second part stands for adulthood and third part stands for old age and death so in this way these three stanzas are there in this particular poem it symbolizes the life periods of human being so let's start what things she has given here in these particular lines let's see weavers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay blue as the wind of a halcyon wild we weave the robes of a new born child so it is about childhood it is beginning period of our life and we remain happy in this particular period because no burden no tension and poem is about indian weavers skills their devotion towards their profession so through this poem she is also trying to focus their skillful works as well as she is trying to tell us the colorful of life weavers weaving at break of day break of day means it is morning time and at this morning hour these weavers are weaving a garment so early in the morning they started their work and as a poetess she is observing their skillful work why do you weave a garment so gay so early in the morning they are weaving a garment which is very much attractive and very much tender beautiful gay is attractive blue as the wing of the halcyon wild halcyon means kingfisher a type of beautiful blue colored bird wild wild means natural it symbolizes nature natural thing so blue blue color stands for precious thing and it stands for beauty so the garment that weavers are weaving early in the morning it's compared to the blue color of that halcyon wild that kingfisher's wings so that garment is as beautiful as kingfisher's wing we weave the robes of a new born child so when she ask this question to these weavers that early in the morning why are you weaving this beautiful garment and they answered that they are weaving this beautiful garment for newborn baby newborn child robes means long loose dress attractive dress so this poem indicates the childhood of our life so it is about color it is about our beginning it is about our good memory of childhood so childhood is full of happiness without any type of burden on us we 
enjoy a lot in this period and we expect that same period should be there in our life but it it won't happen but we expect these things again and again that somebody should give that type of life once again it is not possible so it is very important time in our life so break of day indicates that early morning it gives us idea about birth it gives us idea about beginning so these things have given by sarojini naidu in this first stanza if you are asked to identify figures of speech in this part particular stanza see this first line was waving at break of day ww sound the beginning sound of word repeatedly used here that is why we can say that it is example of alliteration break of day early morning and birth both are compared and birth is considered as a break of day so in that sense it is indirect comparison that is why it is metaphor then look this third line wing wide the same w sound is repeatedly used that is why in that sense it is example of alliteration then blue as the wing of a halcyon wide so the garment which is waving by these wavers early in the morning it's compared with wings of kingfisher so comparison direct comparison is there and that is why when ever direct comparison is there by using as so and like such words that time this figure of speech is called simile so blue as the wing of halcyon wild so it is example of simile so these are few figures of speech in this particular stanza now you are asked to write the rhyming scheme rhyme scheme or rhyming words so let's see day gay wild child try to concentrate the same sound day gay don't see alphabet same alphabet try to see whether same sound is repeated there if same sound is repeated there give the same alphabet so day gay a a wild and child b b so rhyme scheme of this poem this stanza is a a b b rhyming words day gay wild child second stanza of this poem and it indicates the adulthood it is also big period of human beings life let's see what is mentioned by sarojini naidu in these lines we were swaying at fall of night why do you wear a garment so bright like the plumes of peacock purple and green we wear the marriage bells of a queen so it is adulthood and in adulthood life is very much colorful we effort a lot to achieve goal we effort a lot to maintain relations in this period we work hard to earn money whatever things we expect in this particular peak hour we get married in this period so it is overall very colorful type of period we were swaying at fall of night it is noon to evening time so fall of night it is evening time it is very crucial and important time of human beings life why do you wear a garment so bright 
so that bright garments indicate the importance colorful life of adulthood so bright brightness colorful attractive so these weavers are weaving garment at evening time and which is very much colorful attractive like the plumes of peacock purple and green like the plumes of peacock so this garment is as beautiful as the feathers decorative feathers of peacock so this garment is very much attractive and purple and green purple color stands for life then hopes green color stands for life so that bright garment colorful garment is compared with the decorative feathers of peacock which is having purple and green color so purple color stands for grandeur dignity then devotion and peace green color stands for freshness life safety growth and if we consider both as a one word so it stands for sorrow happiness struggle of life so this particular period in which you struggle a lot to achieve your goal in adulthood and in a same period we get married so that type of thing is indicated by sarojini naidu in this line we wear the marriage wells of a queen marriage wells means long decorative dress which we can say that it is like a ghagra so she is asking these viewers that what things are you wearing at evening time which is very much attractive colorful and the answer which these viewers are giving that they are wearing a garment for a queen for her marriage ceremony so struggle of life various types of burdens struggle for our goal so all these things considered as various colors you met different type of new people you met your future wife in this particular period so that is why all things are there in this particular stanza and it indicates adulthood if we are asked to identify figures of speech in first line the same is there ww sound is repeatedly used it is beginning sound that is why it is alliteration fall of night fall of night it indicates evening time it indicates middle part of our life so that is why it is metaphor then look at this third line like this word is used and it is used to make comparison of two things in simile and that is why it is simile so garment is compared compared with that plumes of peacock so these are few figures of speech in this second stanza it is about adulthood it is about colorful time of third stanza it is about old age and death so first stanza which we have studied is about childhood the colors which used are very much attractive second stanza stands for adulthood most important period in our life and life is colorful various colors are there in adulthood now this is last part of this poem and here the color colorless type of life is indicated let's see first what is the meaning of these lines we were weaving song and steel song and steel means seriously they are weaving something 
and what things they are wearing. What do you wear in the moonlight chill? And the hour in which they are weaving is night. So at night time they are weaving seriously something else. And what is that something? White as feather and white as cloud. Feathers, white feathers and white cloud stands for colorless life. Dead. So white clouds stands for meaningless things. White feather stands for death, nothingness. So, white as feathers, white as clouds. At night, these weavers are making a garment which is totally white. White color stands for hopelessness and peace. We wave a dead man's funeral shroud. Shroud, shroud means white clothes to cover dead body. Funeral ceremony. At the time of funeral ceremony, white colored garment is used to cover that dead body. So, this particular stanza is about old age and death. So, all these things have given here in this particular stanza by Saroji and Naidu. Now, look at what figures of speech are there in these lines. So WW sound, SS sound, so it is example of alliteration. Then moonlight chill, moonlight stands for night and it is symbolized the last period of human being. So last period of human being is considered as a moonlight period, last period. So it is metaphor. Then white as feather and white as cloud. So that garment is compared with white feather. As as is used that is why it is example of simile. So these are few figures of speech in this stanza. All these three stanzas are written AABB rhyme scheme. So these things have given by Saroji Naidu in this poem. Thank you very much.